Hi, this is Kerry with Filmmaker Central, and today I'm going to show you how to normalize all your audio clips so that your volume isn't all over the place. So stay right there. We'll be right back. Now, I don't know about you. I probably know a little bit about you, but if you you're probably like me and like most people that if you're listening to a video, watching something, you know, watching TV and a commercial comes on and that commercial is so much louder than the rest of the show, or you're listening to a podcast and you've got your earphones on and the guy's saying they're talking and it goes to a commercial or it goes to play music and it's just so much louder and you got to rip your earphone off just because it's so loud. How do we balance that? And I think that's a, a very important topic to cover because I still see a lot of people struggle with this and it's not that hard and we can make it as easy as possible and even automate it in some extent, but I still like manually tweaking things and making sure that everything is correct. And it, there's one basic guideline that we kind of want to follow. And that is the, the decibel level that it's coming out at and, or the loudness level. And if we can maintain a consistent loudness throughout the whole project, it's going to be a lot more pleasing for people to watch and listen to without just going, oh my God, that was so loud. Or what are they saying? I can, the volume's just all over the place. So we want to balance that out. And a good rule of thumb when it comes to your bass audio, and whether that be an audio, audio track, music track, or dialogue like this, uh, a good key starting point is going to be negative 10 dB. Now, decibels is always in a negative number, so just something to keep in mind. And we're going to want to be around negative 10 dB. That's going to give us a nice, good quality, good kind of punchiness without it blowing out speakers and becoming distorted. So we want to keep to that negative 10 dB. If we have background music, we want that background music to be between negative 20 and negative 30, usually closer to negative 30 dB, so that our dialogue is at negative 10, our background music is a good 20 dB below that, so that you can still hear the person talking. I see a lot of YouTube videos where the host is talking and he's playing background music and the background music is so loud that you can't hear what the person is saying. So we want those different levels to be at, at some pretty specific points or some good general guidelines to keep the music from overwhelming the dialogue and to keep all of our dialogue and, or all of our music or whatever our project is, we want it to be as consistent as possible. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to jump in here to DaVinci Resolve. Now, yes, that's me, and that's me with the Jeep. So um, in case you don't know, I have another YouTube video that is all about off-roading, jeeping, uh, Jeep maintenance, Jeep upgrades and things. You can find that at Trail Traveler, and there'll be a link in the description below. Uh, I love doing that. I love getting off-roading, and I love working on my Jeep, so I do some videos around that. So if you're interested in Jeeping or off-roading or four-wheel drive stuff, uh, check out my other channel at Trail Traveler. So back to business here with this. Now, I can look at this, and I can look at these waveforms and go, well, I know this music here is going to be louder than this. And so just visually, you know, I can kind of probably put it in the general ballpark and probably be pretty darn close. Now, what I want to do is make sure that my mixer is on over here. And if it's not, go up to the upper right hand corner and turn on the mixer. And as we watch this dialogue, we can see we're peaking up to about negative 5 dB. We go into our music, and our music isn't too bad. Uh, actually, I have it adjusted lower than normal here, so if, let's take it back to the default, and let's see where, oh man, it spiked all the way up to zero. 
So what's gonna happen when you're listening to that is my dialogue is gonna be at one level, that music, music is gonna kick in and it's gonna be really loud and then it's gonna go back to my dialogue level. So we wanna make sure that those are fairly consistent. Okay, so now we know how we can monitor it looking at our mixer over here and we see this, we're spiking up to um, close to negative five. So it's louder than what we want even on the dialogue. So one way is I can select all the pieces, right click on them, go to normalize audio level, and I have my sample peak program, negative dB, negative 10 dB, and I can set relative or independent. Now what this is gonna do, if it's relative, it's gonna take all the clips into account and adjust to a peak of minus 10 dB. If I do independent, then it will treat each clip individually. So why one versus the other? Wouldn't you always wanna do relative so it's com consistent across the whole thing? And the short answer is sometimes, and it really depends on the project. Sometimes it's okay to punch it over a little bit. I mean, if you're doing an action movie, you don't want all of the dialogue to be as loud as an explosion. That needs to be, you know, something. If you're doing a horror flick, sometimes you have that scare moment that you're gonna kick up over those guidelines. So it's not always perfect to do relative, nor is it always perfect to do independent. So it just depends on your project. So I'm gonna set relative here just so we can see what it does and you can see it drops these all the way here. And now let's watch our meter and we're, we're pretty darn low. Uh, the music did spike to around negative 10 B, but it dropped our dialogue really, really low because there were some big spikes in that music. So let's undo that. I'm gonna right click on this again and we'll go to normalize audio levels and we'll go to independent. And you can see it didn't drop them nearly as far as it did before. So let's go ahead and play through this. And now our dialogue is spiking at negative 10 dB. We get into our music, which spiked at negative 10 dB. We're gonna go back to our dialogue here, which is spiking at negative 10 dB. So, by doing it that way, it treated each clip individually. So the stuff that is more poppy in one thing isn't gonna force other pieces like dialogue to get pushed way down. If this was all dialogue, then it wouldn't matter. We could just say relative. But when we have pieces that are way higher than the others, then relative may not be the best choice. Okay, let's go another route. And if I'm just kind of going clip by clip because there's some clips I want to pop more, there's others I may not to, I may not want to, then I can come up here to the inspector, make sure that clip is selected, make sure I'm on the audio tab, and then I can adjust the volume. And I can do this in real time. So I'll go to this longer clip here and we'll just start playing. And I can see, okay, we're spiking up to negative five dB. So I'll just grab this and I can just kind of keep adjusting it until I'm getting my spikes kind of where I want them. And right there about, oh, man, even as much as negative 12 dB, oops, you know what? I don't have the right clip selected. That's why it's not working right. Let's go back. We'll start this over again. Okay, we'll go to the audio tab and we'll hit play. Now, you can see as I adjust it, it's gonna drop things way down and I can just kind of keep massaging this clip volume so that kind of my mean is around 10 or minus 10, even though I might get a little poppy once in a while and it might spike over. Now kind of my baseline is right around negative 10. So that is a way I can just do it clip by clip so that I can adjust things as I want. 
So that's yet another way of doing it. Now, of course, we can go into Fairlight and do the same thing with you know the, the exact same controls. So there's really no reason to jump over to Fairlight to do it. Uh, most of you are, who are watching this are really staying within the editor. So I'm gonna show you all the concepts here instead of jumping over to Fairlight. So I think we have a good basis now. We've got our dialogue, we've got our intro music. Now let's add a sound piece. So I'm actually going to, uh, let's see, we'll grab this piece of music here. Oops, put it over there. So we'll bring it on to another audio track. And if we start playing this, I, I can't hear the dialogue at all. It's just, it's just way too loud. So the quick and dirty way is let's normalize the audio level and let's set it to minus 30. Okay, now let's listen. For some time now, approximately 10,000 miles. So that's two oil changes. So and we look I over on just exactly our audio two here and Would we're still kind of spiking up a little high. So maybe I want to pull that down a little bit more. Would it be catching sediments and all kinds of things? So today we're going to empty it and see uh, how it's done. Now, okay. Now if I'm looking at audio two down here where my music is, and I've got it pretty well going here on negative 30 dB, you can hear that the dialogue is perfectly clear, even though there's music in the background. Original hoses, pop this on here, bolt it up in place, and that's it. And well, there is a hose that we run. So you can see there that the music is not overwhelming the dialogue when it's negative 20 dB below the, the dialogue. So I think, uh, I think I've got it kind of covered here. Hopefully this will help. I really hope this helps because I, I see so many videos out there, especially vlogging type things where the audio is just up and down and up and down and they throw music in and the music is just overwhelming. So if you can follow these guidelines, the negative 10 dB as your baseline, trying to never go over that, you know, of course, like I said, in the exceptions of like an explosion or something like that, but you know, for the most part, we want to stick that dialogue to about negative 10 dB. If it's a music video, then we want that to be at negative 10 dB. And if we have dialogue with audio in the background, we want that audio in the background to be around negative 30 dB. So hope this helps. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like these videos, be sure and share them on social media, uh, share them on the different Facebook groups. Really appreciate it. Really love all the support out there. I know I was gone for a while. Uh, I'm back. I'm doing a bunch of stuff. I'm in the middle of moving. If you saw the rest of my place, there is boxes stacked everywhere. I'm only two weeks away from my move and I cannot wait to get into the new place with the new setup and have more room to work and more ways of bringing content to you. So I'm very excited about that. Like I said, if you're into four, four by fours, Jeeps, off-roading, go check out my other channel at Trail Traveler. Thanks everybody, really appreciate the support. I'll catch you later, bye-bye.